welcome my great challenge welcome back to my channel guess what today I am starting a quilting series because you guys wanted me to show you how to quilt so I'm gonna do just that but we're gonna start with real simple stuff um, the tools and then I'm gonna show you like just basic square patch and half square triangle that's what we're doing today eventually as we learn more patterns uh, we'll get to uh, do some stuff type of quilt along where we're all going to make the same quilt together I have the pattern I have the fabric so it's going to be great to do that together but if you are new to quilting you're going to need to know the basics so let me show you the tools that you're going to need all the links are down below if you are missing some tools and you need to purchase them you can go on my Amazon affiliate for that and then um, that will be it for today just simple tools and I'm going to show you how to do a simple four square patch and then we're going to do a pinwheel let's get started so here are the first tools you're gonna need you're going to need one of those mats this is what they call a self-healing mat it allows you to cut without ruining the surface below okay the next thing you're going to need is one of those rotary cutters um, you can replace the blade or you can buy one of those special sharpener where you go like this and it will sharpen your blade this one is fairly new actually I may have to replace it in a couple of weeks but they are really handy so you can have them this size this smaller one and bigger one this is just the size that I need it just fits my hand very very nicely um, and it's not difficult to use at all the next thing you're going to need is some type of of ruler like this one so this is a fairly small one this is just a uh, one two three four inch by one two three four five six seven eight inches okay you can find different sizes I have this one here which is really 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 big this one is actually easier for me to read as opposed to this one if you can see it's got a lot of little grids on it but this one is great to resize um, squares if you need to uh, trim them down okay so that's all you need of course you're gonna need fabric so for the fabric you can go to Joann's and purchase a whole bunch of what they call fat quarters a fat quarter usually comes like this and it's um, usually um, label as such and you dif you can get different stuff you can get plain or solids you can get floral like this one you can get um, bigger designs you can get smaller design you can get tone on tone all sorts of calico batik you name it okay so if you don't know much about uh, colors and you kind of like me you're a little bit challenged with the assortment of colors and you're not really ready to start cutting fabrics and you want something that's easy just to get you started then what you can do is buy what they call a charm pack so a charm pack is basically every piece in one collection cut for you as five by five squares okay and today this is what we're gonna work with this is a charm pack that I got for years and it is by um, Moda fabric I have no idea what the pattern is but you see it's the entire collection Collection. so you get a good assortment of lights like this one and darker colors or you can get um, big designs small designs and like this one right here that has the little bees and then there's another one with eggs so there's a whole variety and you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it okay so we're gonna talk about piecing piecing is basically putting your piece together and sewing them to make designs okay if you wanted to like this right here which I made the other day which is a, a hunter star and I'm gonna show you how to do that not in this video though but this one is actually relatively easy it's just a matter of cutting accurately and and sewing exactly within the seam because all of this here is nothing but half square triangles and I'm gonna show you today how to do half square triangles and a regular patch okay so let's pick some fabric and we're going to do a simple um, four patch all right some of it I obviously need to iron so I'll be right back and if you don't have a fabric store in your area I'm putting links down below as well for you to be able to get um, some charm packs it's easier if you want to learn to quilt to just get the fabric already cut for you I just 
that's the way I learned anyway. Okay, so I'm picking those four. These are um, the same design, but in four different colors. So all we're going to do is we're going to sew this one to this one first, and then those two. And then when they're done, we're gonna have these two pieces like this, and then we're gonna join them like this, okay? So what you do is that you're gonna put them um, face to face like this so you're gonna have front to front on your fabric like this and you're gonna align them okay most of the time they are cut perfectly so if you are concerned that your fabric is going to slip a little bit okay what you're gonna do is just pin it like this here and we're going to pin it here as well and what we're going to do is just so along right here and everything in quilting is sewn at exactly one quarter of an inch from the edge so let's go to the machine and i'll show you exactly where the quarter of an inch is so i'm going to try to give you the best view i can give you here okay so you see the edge here of my foot okay and the needle is right in the middle for the majority of uh the time when you have a simple feet like this, a simple foot, when you have a simple foot like this on your machine, or even if you have a quarter inch foot, the space between the needle here and the edge of your foot right here is exactly a quarter of an inch. So what you do is that you place your fabric right there. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, right? And I'm not over here or underneath here. I'm exactly where the foot will match the edges right here and i'm going to lower my foot right here lower my needle okay and i'm going to sew along at a quarter of an inch so you don't have to go fast if you're brand new at this um i'm going to do a slow speed first so you can see how it's moving okay and your your job as the seamstress is to make sure that this foot is exactly aligned to the edges of your fabric and doesn't stray either to the left or to the right. Let's speed up a little bit. And let's do the same thing with the next one. Again, I have my fabric sandwich like this, um, front to front, and just get going. So one of the things you're always going to have to have with you when you do any kind of quilting or sewing for that matter is an ironing board. And I have my iron right here that's heating up. Here are the first two that I made and here is the second one. So before I join them, I want to flatten the seam in the back. You see my big seam right here? So the rule here is that you're always going to iron towards the dark side, okay? So this is the dark, side of my fabric and this is the lighter one and see i have a dark background and a light background so my seam here in order for it to not show when i flip it this way i'm going to flatten it towards the dark side okay and every time you f iron any kind of quilt you're always going to do that the rule is always going to be towards the dark side okay so here we go flatting it now don't go with the point always try to go with the flat part of your iron like this okay you do one and then you go to the other side and you flatten it okay don't pull too much because you don't want to um distort your fabric but give it a good flat press all right so here it is nice and flat and this is pressed to the dark side so here are my two pieces okay so now we're going to join them all right so what you want to make sure is that the seams are going to match now right? don't worry about the edges because that can always be resized but you want to make sure that this seam here matches this one so we're going to put them together like this and you're going to I don't know if you can see that, all right? So you're going to play around with it a little bit so you can see that the seams are together. If you are concerned that the fabric is going to move at any point in time, what I'm gonna do to make sure that my seams are together, so what I'm gonna do to make sure my seams are together, I'm just gonna go ahead and align them right here, okay? And I'm gonna put a pin right here around the seam. 
see that? Okay, so that way I know it's not moving. So I'm just gonna sew along from here to here at exactly a quarter of an inch. I will be right back. So here we go, you guys. Here's your first four patch, okay? I'm going to press it this way and again this way to flatten it and we'll have a perfect four patch. And here it is. So you know you could do an entire quilt just with those patches from the very same collection. You don't have to do those four patterns, but you can add any of the other patterns that come in your charm pack. And basically you would have a full quilt that has assorted colors and is always matching because all the colors are together and you don't have to sweat it. And then you just, you know, quilt it whichever way you want. But in a sense that is a four patch so that is your very first mini quilt okay and you could do a pot holder with that anything you want so now i'm going to show you how to do a half square um triangle so i have those two pieces here that are leftovers okay and i like those two because they're kind of the same design but there's a light and a dark okay so this is what you're going to do you're just going to put them this way against one another okay and you're going to draw a line right there from corner to corner preferably do it on the light fabric so that way you can see your line okay so just draw a line like this right you can go several times if you want to don't do it with ink do it with pencil or a special fabric pen all right and what you're going to do is that you're going to sew right here along the edges quarter of an inch from the line on one side and quarter of an inch from the line on the other side. So can you see the line right here where I have the pencil? All right. So remember this is quarter of an inch from here, the needle to the side. Okay, so I'm just gonna place my foot exactly on that pencil mark and I'm going to sew exactly a quarter of an inch away from that mark. I'm going to go all the way down and then I'll flip it around and I'll do the same thing a quarter of an inch on this side. So let's get started. Okay, and here's an easy way to just turn around. Okay, all you're going to do is lift your foot, lift your needle, Pull your fabric away like this, flip it around, and move it to the other side. Now, when you're on the other side, the foot goes right here, and again, from the needle to the edge of the foot right here is a quarter of an inch, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and sew along that line on the other side. Okay, here we go. Um, you see the two lines right here? Okay, so the next step is that you're going to take your rotary cutter and you're going to cut along the line that you drew earlier, the one with the pencil. So basically you're just going to cut them apart like this, okay? So you have two pieces. So let's see what it looks like. So when you split it open, this is what you get. You get a half square triangle right here and then the other one is another half square triangle. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We're going to press them to the dark side. So I'm gonna flip it like this and you're gonna press them this way. Okay, I'll be right back. And here they are. So now, what do you do with these little things here? These are called ears. Okay, we're just gonna cut them off. If you're not uh, confident that you can cut them off like this, you can use the ruler. Okay, so that's that. Cut them off, off they go. Okay, and you have two half square triangles. So now when you use um, a five inch square and you do this method, you're basically going to have just two half square triangles. So what could you do with this? Well, you could put them together to make a band like this if you wanted to, or you could put them together this way if you want the darker side, or you could do this to get kind of like a triangle, or you could do this okay or you could do a whole bunch of them and you just keep on lining them up this way and you have kind of like a zigzag effect or you can do it um the other way around 
like this if you want the dark side okay so this is how to make just basically two half square triangle so now i'm going to show you how to do four half square triangle they're going to be a little bit smaller because you're going to cut four of them in this so let me press this fabric first and this is going to be a very easy method so same thing front to front like this okay make sure they align and again if you're afraid your fabric is going to slip you can do two things you can either pin it or you can press them together by the way that kind of like makes them stick a little bit because cotton is such that with the heat it kind of tends to stick it's not going to stick stick forever but it will help you hold the fabric together so i'm just going to put a um needle i'm just going to pin it right there in the middle because i really don't want it to move so what you're going to do for this one in order to get your four half square triangle you're going to sew all around like this at exactly one quarter of an inch from the edges all around you're just going to make a square basically all right so let's go to the machine so again we are at exactly a quarter of an inch right here and i'm just going to go all the way around making a big square in a square basically so let's get going okay so what do you do when you get to the edge all right you bring it just about here you leave your needle down you move your foot up you flip your fabric okay and you see how i've got a little bit i'm not exactly on the edge that's fine let me move my needle up move the foot up and just align it where i need it to be and go back down and let's go okay bring it all the way to the edges one more i'm gonna do one more like this flip it ah this time i'm a little bit over so we're gonna lift the needle Move the foot and bring it just where it needs to be right here. Go down and let's go. I'm a little bit off again. You'll get the hang of it. And there we go. Go the way to the end. Okay. We're done. So I've sewn all the way around, okay, big square, one quarter of an inch from the edges. And all I'm going to do now is basically go from edge to edge and I'm going to cut this way, flip my ruler and I'm going to cut that way. Okay, and this is what you're going to get. Four different pieces and guess what? Each one of them is a half square triangle. So let me press them again, uh, press to the dark side. We'll take off the ears and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So what can I do with four half square triangle? Let's play with it. Let's put all the dark towards the middle. Like this and like this. Okay. You could get a diamond or what's called a square and a square okay or you could do the other way around where you have the light side like this okay and you do the same thing than what you did with these you basically sew right here those two together like that and you're gonna sew those two together still quarter of an inch and then once they put together you just sew this piece like this to this one okay all right so now i said we were going to do a pin wheel how do you do a pin wheel you're going to have one like this you're going to have one like this you're going to put one uh, yeah, well. this way and you're going to put one hold on hold on hold on how do you do it this way okay and that is a pinwheel my friends so let's put them together to have a pinwheel so here we go guys this is your pinwheel right here so this is what you've learned today you've learned to make a four square patch like this you can make an entire quilt out of it you've learned to make two half square triangle with two simple fabrics so if you have the same fabric all around you could do a big pinwheel with this too you know um let me see 
right you would put one this way and then this one would go this way and then you put another one here and another one here and you get a large pinwheel okay and you learn to make a little pinwheel like this one okay whoops what's that all right so this is it this is my lesson for today you've learned to make a pinwheel two half square triangle and a four patch okay you guys how exciting is this you just made your first pinwheel and half square triangles and your first four patch so when i come back in the next video we're going to make uh flying geese and probably an ohio star so that's going to be really exciting stay tuned yeah. don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like yeah. this video don't forget to subscribe right here if you're brand new i love pinwheels by the way you can make entire quilts out of them um go online google pinwheel quilt and google what you can do with a whole bunch of pinwheels okay don't forget the links down below if you need to buy some of those um charm packs if you don't have a fabric store in your area and all of the tools that i featured at the beginning of this video if you're interested in my machine i also have a video i'll link it at the end this is a uh, brother machine let me turn it off there we go um so if you're interested in purchasing a new machine the link is down below as well and the demo is in the other video i'll talk to you later thank you for watching bye